deep in the West Country, the town of Somerton may look a quiet, rather sedate kind of place, but this week it's been noisily awoken by political drama as bitter and heated as anything at Westminster. These are eight of the 11 councillors who suddenly quit, three quarters of the whole town council, with another soon to follow, all in protest at strong criticism from an angry local blogger on the internet. You all resigned from the council because of this uh, blogger. Um, wh why do you do that? Well, a lot of reasons, really. Uh, personally, I was branded a racist because I put an article in the uh, Summerton magazine saying that I thought that all these people who complained but didn't lift, lift, lift a finger to help uh, shouldn't be entitled so to do. And I was branded a racist for saying that, which is outrageous. And what, what were the other people's reasons for resigning? Well, a lot of it was the blog, but Jill and I were called the Ugly Sisters. Pure, well, that, I purely didn't resign be because of that. But no, that wasn't the resignation thing, but it was the blogger and all the rubbish that he was writing about us. And what about well, you, I, sir? I would agree with Martin and what he had to say, uh, and really it got to the stage where enough is enough because some of the stuff that was put in there and the names mentioned uh, did not apply to me in any shape or form. What sort of names? Like corrupt and degenerate, sir. Now we've got people who I, I knew as children cutting me dead in the street because I'm a town councillor. Because of what they've read on Mr Connolly's blog? what they've read on Mr Connolly's blog. Yeah. I mean, Mr Connolly has, has told us, Mr Camvan, that, that he's not very happy about some of your business interests. What business interests? Well, property business, I believe you're in. What's that to do with the town council? Anything that's come up with my business has been declared and I've walked out the room. We've, all of us, have put our the families and homes on hold. And if the phone has gone and we've needed to run somewhere to do something or phone somewhere to do something, we've all done it, and we've done it willingly. We don't need to be blogged off. And this, they say, is the blogger who has driven them to political suicide. Neil Connolly, a photographer whose website, Muck and Brass, persistently accuses the council of secrecy, of lack of consultation, and who has hit them with freedom of information requests. Six days ago, for instance, Mr Connolly wrote, Sorry, what did you say? It's time for some democracy in Somerton. But I thought that democracy was what you clowns were all about. As Somerton starts to find a voice, you bunch of jackasses start to whisper the D word. But the blog, he says, isn't the real issue. These councillors are complaining that actually the community is showing up on their doorstep. It's got nothing to do with me. It's got nothing to do with the blog. The blog may have reflected a disquiet. I don't think I'm saying anything that other people don't think. These people are, after all, are volunteers. They're not being paid for this job. And if there aren't any volunteers, the council doesn't get run. These volunteers are not forced to do what they do. This is called public service. And whilst I am very grateful for what people do, there isn't an obligation upon me to agree with it. This comes down to whether or not Somerton Town Council will publish information about what their financial transactions are. There's a huge degree of secrecy. They're not talking about small amounts of money. We're talking about a precept which has rocketed up from 30,000 in 1999 to 220,000 today. And he's not Somerton Council's only critic. On Tuesday night, 112 people held an angry meeting which unanimously called for a referendum on the council's plans to move the town's recycling centre. We're all pretty apathetic, or we have been up until now. What the blog did was to highlight several months ago that something wasn't quite right. When we started to take an interest, we found it wasn't quite right. Secrecy, uh, not being able to see paperwork... Um, hurrying decisions through without consultation locally. It was all a bit upsetting for us. So here we seem to have a political elite under pressure and a certain amount of popular discontent, combined with those very modern ingredients of the internet and blogging, freedom of information and the trends towards greater accountability and transparency. Here in Somerton, in fact, you seem to have in miniature very much the same picture that we get in national politics these days. But nationally or locally, revolt can have its costs. 
Record numbers of MPs are retiring at the next election. And officially, Somerton Town Councils, now defunct, until the town elects more councillors. As a result, there's a threat that this year the town may even have to go without its Christmas lights.